Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a tutorial on how to set up an offline Bitcoin wallet using the Armory client. So here we have we have the Armory client up and running. This is in Windows right now, but you're going to want to do these steps in Linux, uh, preferably a fresh install. Uh, I'll go into that sort of towards the towards the end of the video. Uh, so here you have the armory client and this is the offline mode of the client now the offline mode does not require any internet connection as the name would suggest and you can still create a wallet even when you're not connected to the internet so what do you do you go up here you say create new wallet you give it a name let's say uh, that wallet and here so we're going to want to use the encryption and we can make a paper backup Let's go to the advanced uh, encryption options here. So now you can see here the, the target compute time. This is the time it will take your computer to verify one of these private keys. So you can, you can increase this uh, up to 20 seconds if you want. You can also increase the, the memory usage of the key now. Now it, it says basically that anything much more than two or three seconds of computing time is is unnecessary so you know, we'll, we'll do 20 seconds and that'll be fine so you just hit accept here and now you have to enter a passphrase uh, eight or more random letters or five or more random words so our passphrase will be one two three four five which is not exactly the best password, but for testing purposes, we can do that. So don't ever forget your passphrase or you'll lose all your bitcoins. So make sure when you make a paper wallet backup that you're hiding in your safe somewhere or burying in your backyard. Make sure you write that password down on that piece of paper too because, I mean, doesn't really do you any good if you have the keys but not the but not the passphrase okay so we'll accept that and see now it's taking uh, a minute to set it up and what's going to pop up here up oh, one more time with the password so now here it is now this is what pops up so you have this is the QR code for your wallet, basically the private data for your wallet, and this is the actual text of the key and the and the and the chain. So this QR is it just contains this information here. Okay, now this is what you want to write down if you were making if you didn't have a printer and you just wanted to make the paper the paper wallet back up. This is what you'd write down here. Okay. And so now uh, we can close this, and you see here now we have our we have our wallet, and it doesn't know what the balance is because we're offline. So now the issue is, well, how do you do the the two most common things you would do with a Bitcoin wallet, which is send money and receive money? <clears throat> so receiving money is very easy, right? You can just double click on your wallet and this pops up with all your different options so you can send receive change your password change the labels and you can make a digital backup you can make a paper backup which just opens up that screen we were just showing uh, you have uh, you can back up your keys you can create a watching only copy now this is once so this is something you're going to want to do if you have a if you have an offline wallet okay and you can and by the way you can also make a digital backup and put it on a USB drive that's never been connected to the internet. You know, so if you if you want to make a digital cop, a digital backup, uh, this allows you to do that. Uh, now, what is a watching only copy? So if we, of the wallet, and this is what you're going to want to do, and you're going to want to take this watching only copy to your online machine that's also running the Armory client. And it can load the watching only copy. And the watching only copy can keep track of the balance. The watching only copy by itself 
will not be allowed to send any any bitcoins okay so you click watching only copy now this is important here this uh, this this folder here under your username it'll be you know your user app data roaming and then armory and this is where armory stores uh, your wallet files so you can create a watching only copy and that's what you would send to the online machine so so now if you want to receive bitcoins you can click receive bitcoins and you can use these addresses that are generated so you can make deposits to the offline wallet using using these these addresses you can click copy to clipboard there's the QR code for it etc now if you want to receive if you if you want to send bitcoins from the offline wallet that's a little bit more complicated and that will involve the, this watching only copy on your off on your online machine and that's something uh, I'm going to go into uh, right right now or in just a minute okay so you can see here now we're in the online client and we've 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 selected our watch only wallet here and what we're waiting for right now is we're waiting we're waiting for the online client to sync with the network so basically we have to download the blockchain that has been created in the last however long it took to to, to turn armory back online so you got to sync you got to resync with the network and then it'll have to scan the the blockchain looking for your wallet address in order to determine what the balance is now this whole process can take up to an hour or longer depending on the last time it was you you, you synced with the with the network and the armory the online armory client itself is very bloated uh we're we're only in a beta right now but uh this this can take up over 2 gigs of ram while, while you know in the online mode so that's incredibly resource intensive uh, and the, the, the armory doesn't support the the mini key feature that the standard Bitcoin client wallet supports but they, they'll be moving to support that uh, in the future and they'll, they're, they're, they're working right now to try and cut down the the resource usage uh, of, of armory while it's online so while this is while this is syncing up I just want to talk a little bit about the website and the steps you should take to uh, to, to set up the offline account. Now, this is this is the Armory download uh, website, and I'll put a link in the in the description. So, if we scroll down here, you see you have the you have the Windows uh, the Windows client. And if you scroll down here, you have also packages for Ubuntu and Debian. And if you scroll down further, you have a bundle for Ubuntu 10.04. And this this bundle here comes with the entire. It comes with everything you need. Okay, so it, it contains the exact packages above, but also includes all dependencies needed. For an Ubuntu 10.04 system, see with this with this package here. This is just the Armory package, and when you if you if you have let's say Ubuntu 12 and you run this package, it's going to complain and it's not going to let you install it unless you connect to the internet and download all these other dependencies. And the thing about that is, this is the route I went first. You know, I I, I Installed Ubuntu 12 from a, you know from a flash drive. I, I booted it from a flash drive, and ran this package, and immediately you know it's complaining and looking for all these other packages, and even when I was connected to the internet with this uh, Ubuntu version 12, I was still not able to get every package that I needed. There was all sorts of package problems with this with this setup that I had so I scrapped this idea and I went directly to the the, the 10.04 bundle because this one claimed to have every package dependence that you could ever need without 
you know, without ever having to connect to the internet. And this works. This works perfectly. So I would recommend just doing the Ubuntu 10 instead of the 12, unless you're very Linux savvy and you can get the damn thing to work. Uh, but this this works without having to worry about any package discrepancies. And so let's just take a look now at the uh, at the client here. You can see we're still we're still 44 blocks away. And remember, new blocks are being generated in real time, right? So there are 44 blocks, but there's you know the 45th block is being created, and maybe the 46th, and maybe the 47th in the time it's taking to to sync all of these. So so this can take this can take a, a, a quite a long time. Like I said, this can take up upwards of an hour to do right now with the current client, which is not really desirable. Uh, but it does give you that security of knowing that your wallet is never actually connected to the internet there's no way for anyone to steal your your actual wallet file the only thing that they would be able to steal from your online computer is the watch only file which is more or less equivalent to just your your public key so there's there's no danger in 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 this uh, in in the watch only file or in, in losing that that file uh, and so I'm going to pause the video here and wait for the the network to sync up, and then we'll we'll experiment, or I'll I'll show you how to how to how to send bitcoins from this wallet. And basically, if you want to send bitcoins, what you're what you'll have to do is create an offline transaction, <clears throat> and the offline transaction will will generate a a, a signature file or an un, an unsigned transaction file. That's just a text file. And that text file you'll have to put on a USB stick, go over to your offline computer where your offline wallet is, and you'll actually need the offline wallet to be loaded. So you, you use your digital backup or your paper backup to restore it. And then, and then you'll put the unsigned transaction in, and you'll be able to sign the, sign the transaction. And we'll, we'll go through some of that. Right then, so here we are. We have finally synced with the network, and you can see the fat wallet balance is zero bitcoins as expected. Now, if we open up this wallet here, you can see we have a lot less options for a watch-only wallet, but we can we can still send bitcoins and receive bitcoins. So, so once again, if you receive bitcoins. It, it, now it warns you that this might not be your wallet because it's a read-only file, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it is my wallet. And there's uh, your receive addresses again. Now if you click Send Bitcoins, now what you'll have to do is you'll enter your the address that you want to send to here and the amount, transaction fees down here. And now what you want to do is, you have two buttons for it actually, you want to create an unsigned transaction. So now what this is going to do is it's going to create a text file with the, the transaction data in it. Now you're going to take that text file and move it onto a USB drive. Bring that USB drive to your offline computer with your offline wallet client and, and the wallet file. And then you'll have an option to basically create a signed transaction. So you'll just ve you have to verify that the transaction is the one that you want to approve. You sign the transaction. That'll override the unsigned text file. It'll create it into a signed text file. You'll bring it back to the online computer, upload the signed file, and then you'll be able to broadcast the Bitcoin network, and then you can, and then and then you've sent your bitcoins. So see, you can send and receive bitcoins with a wallet file that is never attached to the internet. I hope this was helpful. I'll probably be doing some more uh, Bitcoin videos in the future. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.